When it comes time to decide what college to attend, what major to select, what field to pursue, or what goals you wish to set for yourself, it can be overwhelming. Utilizing personality tests, forced choice questions, and thinking through what makes you happy are essential steps to take. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is how to start picking your future. are can be a very complex question. Creating a roadmap for your life based on who you are is fruitless until you begin to understand what you like, don't like, how you learn, and how you target the growth of your skills, ability, and knowledge. The only way to learn about ourselves is to take the time and do the work. It is an incredible journey to take regularly throughout your life. Start with the college search and major selection, then review your answers again when you are nearing college graduation, and then a few years into your new career. Your responses will change as you become more educated, have more life experiences, and grow. There are several personality tests available for free on the internet. Taking two or three of the tests will help you understand the whys of some of your behavior or thoughts. You don't have to agree with all of the test conclusions as long as you understand that the tests reflect the answers you provided. So be as honest as possible or the results will mean nothing to you. You can also find learning styles questionnaires free online. Take an assessment and figure out how you best learn. Then address how you can change your study habits to make your education more successful. Take the answers from the personality and learning tests and join them with your answers to a series of forced choice questions. Note, these tests are designed to make you think. They are not a full picture of who you are or what you can do with your life. You still have to do the work. I'm going to ask a series of questions. You need to record your preferred response to each question. Don't overthink the answers. Not all of these choices may feel comfortable with only binary responses, and that's okay. In that case, select the response that is most comfortable to you right now. Trust your instincts. Here is a taste of the questions that you should be asking yourself. Would you rather work independently or with a group? Do you prefer to spend the majority of your time inside or outside? Would you rather create with your hands or process with facts and figures? Work with details or broader swaths of information? Would you prefer to work with numbers or words? Write or speak? Are you a person who comes up with ideas, develops concepts, or completes projects? Would you rather confront someone for their behavior or change your behavior to diffuse the situation? Here's some questions for you to consider that take a different format. Name the top three things you accomplished yesterday based on the length of time it took you to achieve them. What are the top three things you did yesterday in terms of how much you enjoyed them? Why did you complete those tasks? Why did you enjoy them? List the three least enjoyable things you did last week. Why didn't you enjoy them? Why did you complete those tasks? Was the why important? We have a longer list of questions available on our website linked to the description of this video. Go get the entire list in a worksheet format so you can track your responses. This exercise aims to help you start to make connections between the things you like to do with your time and the way you prefer to accomplish. You may look back at some of these answers and feel uncomfortable with one or more of your answers because you see way more to who you are than what that one word describes. For example, you may say that you like to work with others, but you know you must take time to yourself regularly. Make that note and then look for jobs, colleges, or life choices that put you in the middle of a group. Then make a point of carving out time by yourself. As you interpret this list, you need to start thinking about pursuing a college or a career that allows you to spend the most time in your comfort zone. For example, if you like your time scheduled, like to work with your hands and are creative, then you need to look for education and a career that match those strengths. For example, being a hairdresser will be a better answer for you than being an accountant. And you may find that you need to challenge yourself in some areas to get your dream career. 
You may be a creative person who loves to take a project and see it through from beginning to end, and being an interior designer is your dream job. Yet you may also see yourself as a person who prefers to work alone or avoids confrontation. As an interior designer, there will be times when you must work with and supervise others, ask for payment, or disagree with a client. Challenge yourself to get better within those skill areas so you can spend your career creating beautiful spaces that make you proud. As you have gone through your life, you likely have toyed with ideas on what you would like to do or where you would like to go to school. Take these notions and measure them against what all these exercises are teaching you about yourself. Are there going to be careers that better match these lessons about you? Start to research those careers and the education or training it takes to get you there. Then choose the profession and education that matches the most answers on the list. If you have a trusted friend, family member, or adult working with you on your future, it can be enlightening to share your answers with them. Do they see you in your answers or do they see some answers differently? Talk through the differences, but recognize that it is you who needs to move forward toward your future. So respect their perspectives, but value your own opinion more. If you complete this same exercise a few years from now, you will most likely get more than a few different answers to these questions. In fact, you should see changes. That is because we are always growing and having experiences that shape who we are and what we like or dislike. Those changes may lead you down a new path or they may help you adjust to the course you are on. Growth is good. There are so many opportunities in this world for each of you. Matching those opportunities to who you are and how you prefer to work or learn can make a huge difference in your satisfaction level with your career and life. Would you rather work in a school, career, and life that best utilize your skills, ability, and knowledge? If so, start with figuring out who you are and what you want. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.